Oh, welcome to more bonus content with Tetris. Yep, doing more Tetris because some of you guys actually like Tetris. It'll be like probably one video. Like always. Alright. 50 lines, 30 lines. Yeah, it's going to be Mario theme again. I'm too lazy to change the theme again. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm doing this because uh, I did too long of an update video, but I think it was good that I did it. So I'm usually uh, humble about the experience. Uh, again, thank you guys for 50 subscribers. Holy fuck. Like, it just happened so fast. Like, uh, Lily, um, we were just sitting there recording Minecraft. Like, you know, we were, like, doing another game, I think. Then we got 50. And then out of nowhere, we got another one. And then both of us are just in, well, by the time we were, like, I was uploading all the videos last night. I was literally doing, um, I was literally fixing up the playlist for the 30th anniversary collection. And then, boom, another one. And I was like... Okay, I have to do that video tomorrow. So, that's why I did it first. So, holy shit. Again, thank you guys. It just came out of nowhere. It, it kind of scared me. I was like, is this the fucking Shining or something? <laughs> like, I was sitting there, like, in my room, and I was like, holy fuck, is this the fucking Shining? Am I, like, being haunted? Am I being haunted by Milligro, man? Like, what the fuck? Yes, I I know Jojolian. I kind of watch manga and stuff off screen. I'm probably what you call a shut in. Neat that doesn't a closet weeb. You're better than closet weebs. But I'm the reason why my brother has an unhealthy obsession with anime. It's my fault. Because I keep finding good shit. You know why I honestly like some of the anime. It's not even because I'm an anime fan. I just like the story. So I ended up just fighting so much stuff. And surprisingly, and you would not believe this if I told you. I am a, I am a fucking, I'm a mark for fucking love stories. I know it doesn't look like it, but I am. Uh, even I know this, like, one of the, like, things that I watched, like, the reason why, I think one of the days where I said, oh, I'm sorry, if I sound tired, is because I was watching, like, an English dub the entire fucking night, and my brother got pissed off because he wanted to do something, and I just watched it in English dub the entire time. I ended up finding the most weirdest shit, and it, it just, it, one day, that English dub, it, it showed up, there was a clip of it. And then it piqued my interest. And then I ended up watching the entire fucking thing. So I ended up just watching it. And it, it was pretty good. Not gonna lie. The, uh, the acting was pretty good. The story was overall great. Uh, I didn't have any problems with it. That's just my opinion. You would probably have problems with it. What have we been talking about? The one I watched. Don't you remember the one I stayed up at 2 a.m. to watch for? What was it called? Uh, okay. I guess I didn't explain the premise since we've gone this far at this point. Now people know that I'm a fucking secret weed. Alright, so basically... It's the premises of... Basically, it's a school where these girls can carry... Uh, have weapons. But they're... Oh, yeah, these five one, strong one. women. The reason why they are these high school girls is because... Um... A, because apparently it was an all girls school at one point and what happened was uh, since they were known for like their rehabilitation purposes because of the swords because they were getting uh, well because the re re rehabilitation projects of some like you know tough women they started putting like these gangsters there hoping to God that it can reform them 
and what ended up happening was, you know, they're getting harassed, but then the girls were allowed to use swords and weapons, and let's just say the women dominated, and, uh, oh boy, they made every single man a fucking femboy in that fucking school. Not a femboy, just an Okama. Of a fucking cross-dress. They turned all the buff, all the tough bonchos into fucking cross-dressers, and... I was like, okay. There's no problem with that. It's just, it was it was like a first impression, but then I saw it, saw it, and I was like, holy crap! It's also a fighting anime. Yeah, mostly the guy fights uh, girls, which I thought it was unique. You don't really see that a lot at all, which you know pulled me in. Kind of enjoyed it. It had its funny moments. And I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. It had its dark moments too, but it was overall a pretty good experience for me. And I just ended up watching the entire thing. But yeah, I ended up finding the most awesomest shit. And I think my brother's. Sh I think Toe sometimes gets envious to me because I don't know for some strange, stupid reason. I might as well bring this up. I have a really creative mind. You probably would never hear this from here, but yeah. Even though, yeah, I say, oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid, which I can be. And I don't know how to draw. Like, what do you thought Washington, D.C. was halfway across the fucking country? <laughs> Sorry, my brain fucking farts most of the time. But, uh... When I was a kid, uh, I wanted to make a video game. I wanted to be a video game designer. That's probably why I, my was one of my peeves. But then my father goes, Zach, do you really want to do this? And I sat there. And here's the worst part in the worst situation. I have probably already said this story once, but uh, I guess it goes with this. So I guess I, I need to finish what I was saying. Okay. My di our, my father goes, do you really want to do this? Are you sure? So I go to the techno high school thinking, oh, I'm going to go for the freaking internet class. Uh, most of the experiences were really hard because, unfortunately, I'm autistic. Now you see where this is going. Not a lot of the teachers uh, realized that. They didn't think... There's like... They all thought uh, I was good with computers. They were sadly mistaken. <laughs> and they're like, do you even know how to start a computer? They didn't realize I grew up with never learning how to use computers because my you parents... You computer class when you were younger? Yeah, but at that point, we just did not... I, it got to the point where I just hated the thought of using a computer because I was forced to do something that I didn't want to do. And it just, it just resulted badly. And unfortunately, most of the time where I actually did get to use a computer, I barely remember most of those memories, because again, depression, that's another story. Uh, so at that point, I didn't really know a lot about how to use computers other than just go on games and go on YouTube. So I was kind of fucked. <laughs> All the other kids, like, flexing, like, oh, we know how to freaking start up the router. We know how to do all this. I mean, well, me and my dumb ass was just praying to God I can just pass the class so I can finally, you know, get some good points and not get bad grades and make my freaking father and mother mad at me. So, we not. not make them pissed at me. Yeah, that was the whole goal. I, I was really bad. But some of the... And I found this out. Some of the labor jobs I was really, almost surprisingly good at. And I'm like, huh, why am I so good at the labor jobs? I, I didn't get it either. Because, you know, I was like, I didn't really want to follow my father's footsteps when it came to labor. Because I wanted to be able to get a good, successful job. I didn't want to do, like, labor and all of that at first. I know labor is a lot tougher, but 
the stuff I do is just weak in fucking comparison to what everyone else does. I shouldn't be complaining right now. I should be glad I have a job. Because if I didn't have a job, I think people would not be able to see Splatoon 2 make it to the light of day. Or see Kurt, uh, the 3DS version be finished. But to finish my story, I wasn't good with computers. I went through a lot of um, classes, uh, just you know, being fucked over, and it was mostly computers, so I was kind of fucked. So by the time I actually went to my favorite class, which was internet, to learn the trade, my brother knows where this is going. Uh... I got the worst cold ever, and for the first time, my siblings were even questioning, like, how, like, they were so confused. He was sick for a week, and it, that was the longest it, he's ever been sick. It made them actually anxious. Because they're like, I'm, because they oh, saw oh, me as, like, shit. the healthy nut, and they see me as sick as a week, like, oh, But he's not only ever sick for two days. Because, and it made my sister and my brother panic. I'm really, I'm it honestly really made them panic. Bro. Me and my sister, me and our sister are usually sick for like three or four days or two. I was sick for like eight, but that's, there was another cold, but I was sick for eight days, but that's another thing. The work I was working with, my body wasn't used to it, and to all the temperature changing, which was the culinary shop, that's another thing. So, I don't know if you know this, but where I was in the computer station is where the bakery is. Yeah. And let's just say... Uh, it was hot? No, let's just say the kids don't know how to fucking wash their hands, and... Wash your hands. I got the flu. When you're in the kitchen, wash your hands! So, I got the flu. It was probably from the hairdressers. I was betting it was the fucking previous computer team. Which probably. it might have been, because people don't wash their fucking hands. They should. But... I still have these problems to this day, but I've been trying to wash my hands so I don't get sick. Because, you know, my mother being sick and all. 97 lines, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell. I know, because I've been busy talking, so that's why I've been able to focus. I'm trying to finish my story, so this video's going to be a little long. Uh, So I got the flu, and I was so pissed off. And my brother uh, knew this. Yeah. So what I did was I basically slept for three days straight. I think you remember this, right? I don't remember. Uh, so, I just you kept... You didn't sleep for three days st straight. You I, slept for like a few a hours, day. and then I just kept watching YouTube videos. And I tried to do video... You had to bring your homework, because she was the only one the, uh, that went to your school. Yeah, so it was kind I of went bad. to a different school... Luckily, I was in shop week. I was sick for three days. So, by the time I came back for the last two days of that week, I was... So, I was like, oh my... Because, here's the thing about the first flu. And yeah, when I say first flu, I got it more than once throughout that high school year. And to this day, I think you and V st still question how the fuck did I get three flus within a few, like, um, around a two-year half span because that school is fucking unsanitary as fuck and the kids there are fucking disgusting and need to wash their hands like holy crap you don't just get the flu almost within a span of six months it's not normal but most of the kids in my uh, year weren't normal <laughs> at that point in their, some of them lives, like, they didn't give a fuck. They just wanted to get the fuck out. They wanted to do what they wanted to do. And they didn't know the consequences. I'm still suffering the consequences of growing up. This very day. And I was the one saying, this is going to be a lot harder. I did not know how hard it was going to be. So I give my teacher pity points. <clears throat> so, when after the flu ended, I was so pissed off because I couldn't understand how the computer works. So, uh, and this is when I told you the story of how I joined the culinary shop. So at that point, yeah. I remembered that, hey, there was one shop I enjoyed other than this, and it was the culinary shop. And a lot of thoughts ran in my mind. I was like, 
if we go into internet, do you know how pissed off Dad would be? But I was like, but then I thought like, well, it was kind of fun. I always did want to cook because, you know, I loved it when Mom cooked and I wanted to like, you know, try to make myself feel better because at that point I was still not used to Mom not being able to cook as much as she did and... When our mother cooked, it always brought me, like, best memories, but it made me remind me of my childhood, and then the depression comes back, so. Uh, it's probably why I never wanted to, uh, look at home cooking ever again, but eventually I got fixed over it. Anyways, I was sitting there by myself, thinking, well, you don't know how to do freaking internet at this point, you're kind of fucked. And I don't think you can be able to fucking wing it, dude. You, one, you suck at computers. You don't. You're not even good. You should know this. You barely passed the other the computer classes. And two, um, we're already playing video games already enough. At that point, I think we were just. I was trying to get back into gaming, and then eventually, uh, during that February, I would start my first channel. That was before that. <clears throat> So yeah, I think I started around my channel around uh, the time where I actually joined the shop, which was around February. So around that point in time, I already had my channel. So I was like, do you really want to like attach stuff to that and do other things? I already have my, yeah, I have my channel, my old channel at that point. And I was in like, dude, you're already doing enough fucking Let's Play videos. Do you really, really want to do freaking computer gaming? And then I realized, how am I going to be able to, like, you know, get enough exercise? How am I supposed to know hardly? How am I supposed to fix all? Because I had a lot of problems. And culinary fixed most of my problems. I'm like, choose culinary. One, we need to get out of our comfort zone. Two, we need to talk to people. Three, you need to do something else other than freaking just playing video games all day. Five, if you be in the culinary shop, you might learn how to not be an asshole to your fucking siblings every day. And six, you don't know how to use computers anyways, and it pissed you off, and the only thing you actually found joy was cooking. So you might as well just go with that, and now I'm here today. Yeah, it's all thanks to a flu that I, uh, had the fun ride that was my culinary shop. And I guess I can say the flu was kind of fate. I really don't say it was like, it, oh, I just got sick that day. No, I think it, I believe it was fate. Because, honestly... I was honestly not fated to join the technology industry, to be honest. Dude, I fucking suck. That's probably why I'm never going to get an editor. Because I would be so bad to the point where they would have to do everything. And I don't want someone to do my work for me. I'm a guy like, if I can do it, let me do it. So again, that's why I don't have a computer. Also because, yeah, like I said, like, oh, dude, why don't you edit your videos? Dude! I barely know how to freaking use a computer. And at the point where I did learn how to use it, it was college. And at that point, you already saw the Rusty's Real Deal videos. You saw how college was affecting me. It was affecting me so bad, I was almost starting to lose all the progress I made the past few years. It was getting that bad. So, at that point, I'm thinking, dude, no. We're not going to fucking... I'm not going to make someone suffer... And edit all my videos and do all of this just because I don't know how to do it. I'm just going to record the videos myself. And that's that. And besides, yeah, I'm a person that doesn't want to sit there and just watch somebody do something that I already did. Again, me and my father kind of think the same. If we can do it, let us do it. That's our mindset. If someone else wants to do it, let them. But if we can do it, we can do it. Fortunately, I pick up a lot of traits from my father. That's probably why we get along so well. Unfortunately, the way we think is very fucking different. I'm more lateral. He's more, uh... I'll figure it out later, but if I can figure it out now, that would be great. 
that's the type of person he is. You know, I looked up to him, to be honest. But, yeah, again, going back to the, some of the older stories, when my dad found out I joined the culinary shop, he was kind of relieved. Because <laughs> he's like, oh, thank God, my son's not going to be a shut-in in deep. Because, honestly, when he thought of YouTube, he th honestly thought it was a bunch of drunks. But he couldn't have... He honestly could have not have been wrong either. There were definitely a lot of, there is definitely a lot of drunks here on YouTube. Definitely. A lot of drunk gamers, a lot of uh people who just do whatever they want. He could have not have been wrong, but I I wanted to prove my father wrong like hey, not every YouTuber can be a drunk or a guy who failed to do everything and that's why I did so many videos because I wanted to prove my father wrong like I can get popular too and not have to get drunk or do any stupid shit but I kind of proved him wrong when I did the culinary shop so I could do the culinary shop I could do school I could do work and I could do the let's play channel I just went off and on because again, so much stuff has happened. So it's been it's been, been a little bit harder to do videos, but I've been trying to do videos every day. God, I've been talking too much. This is not normal. This would have been like two videos. Damn. All right. Well, I'm not making a Super Mario Bros. 35 video because I already talked. Fuck. All right. I'll. Should I even do Ninjala? Well, I probably need like a minute or so, but that's the story of, what was I even talking about? My sickness. So in short, what led me to be getting really sick led me to be the man that I was today. I, will, I probably told you the story about my flus, but I will tell you more about the two other flus I, ha I encountered with and how one of them was all of them were certainly unique oh i gotta say all right bye guys